I'm Carrie Butler. Thanks for listening to Breaking Broadway on the Broadway, Broadway Podcast Network. Hello, everyone. Hey. Welcome to this special edition bonus episode of Breaking Broadway. Today, I'm so excited to have... My Beetlejuice cast, Alex Brightman, Elizabeth Teeter, David Joseph Berg, Adam Danheiser, and Leslie Kritzer Rodriguez. Thank you all so much for being here. And so, for those listening, we have been uh, off from Beetlejuice for two years. We're coming back. And um, for me, the best part about coming back has been all of you guys. I mean, every single one of you has made me laugh so much. And, you know, we've just gone through a really hard time. And I feel like you guys are bringing me back to myself. And I really, really mean that. So I would love for all of you to share the best part of coming back to Beetlejuice. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, that's first of all, what a lovely thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie, no, Carrie. no irony there. Just a lovely, <laughs> lovely sentiment to start off this podcast. Uh, ditto to everything you just said. The best thing about coming back is that I think all of us need an audience at some point. Whether it, and, and you know, spouse and friends is like just becomes it's we need more than that after a certain amount of time. And so having friends and new faces and and old faces coming back after two years it's really invigorating as comedians, which I think we all are, to have laughter again, and, 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 and new laughter, and other laughter. Um, so I'm, I am extremely grateful to be able to laugh and make other people's laugh, other people's? Um, <laughs> other laugh. types of people's. Other all types of people's laugh, and. <laughs> See what I mean? He just makes us laugh! <laughs> <laughs> and I missed, I did miss Carrie Butler's overwhelming positivity and, and emotionality and all that. No, but I did, I missed, I missed having, and I don't, no, I, I'm, I'll say this, I missed having what feels like a family again. Yes. And it really does feel like a family dynamic. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's very nice. It's very comforting to have this back. Yes. Elizabeth? Yeah. Um, I mean, sort of the same thing. I feel so incredibly welcomed by everyone within the first day mm -hmm. of being there. And just, I mean, like you both said, I've laughed so much <laughs> in the past few months. Um, and just feeling, um, I mean, it's so simple, but I feel grateful to do what I love with the people I love. And yes. that's, you know, it's just every day is, I, I look forward to coming to work every mm -hmm. day. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! David. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to add. I mean, say yes to all those yes. things because that's yes that's, and so, yes and <laughs> actually no. I don't feel uh, any of that. I don't know all of that. But the only thing I'll add is that having these two years off has made this come back, and it really has changed me so 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 hugely. I feel not only a sense of joy, but a piece of what the show is of 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 just like living your life and of going for it and spending each each moment seems so exciting and and it feels different to me i came in a little late in the process of beetlejuice but and so finding new things and being able to create and being with like a, every single one of you is so amazing and everyone who's not here of course uh so i'm just gonna add that it's it was just it's just being in each moment so fully it, it feels like a completely different career to me. Yeah, yeah. The show resonates so much more for me right now. Yeah. Um, okay, Adam? Yeah, um, I would just say just um, the the fact that we're able to revisit something mm -hmm. that um, was taken from us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously so much was taken from us, but, but just professionally to be able to come back to something is so rare that you get to come back to something. Yeah. yeah. And 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 that informs things in a new way. You get to try new things. I was saying earlier to someone that, you know, you set a show, right? Mm -hmm. When you're racing desperately to set the show to to get to the end, you know, finish line and then that's the show. But now we get to go back. And that's such a gift also is to be able to return to something 
and see what else is going on because we didn't know it was coming to an end. I can say, I'll say one thing I know that everyone hasn't spoken, but you just said that something that I, I've been saying a long time, which is that I think that because the show was taken away, that none of us, and I'm speaking for everyone, none of us were done with the show. Right. So we had a lot more to do, a lot more bits to try, a lot more stuff to explore and mine out of the show that I was so sad when it got taken away for a very specific reason, which is just like, I know all of us and everyone that was going to join the show, there's way more to be discovered comedically. And now we're getting to do that, but it's almost easier because now we're like, let's do a whole new thing. So I think that's great. The the explosion of happiness on this side of it, (laughs) right? Completely. It's like unbelievable. Leslie? Well, I think what everyone said is just brilliant. (laughs) Thank you. Good night, guys. Uh, (laughs) I think the only, I mean, seriously, ditto to everything, but... I think the the one last thing after being inspired by hearing what everyone's saying is that we now have a chance to give this show back to the people and to New York and beyond. And what a gift that we can give laughter and heart back to people that we need that right now. We We need to laugh. People need to laugh. People need to see theater. And I, I'm, I will just never forget walking in the first day. I mean, I get, can get teary. It's Mm -hmm. like, I miss being around people and I miss being around these people. And it it felt like the part of me was missing. And then I walked in the room and I was like, this is what, because this is what I love to do. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why our show is special. We all feel that. Yeah, we do. So yeah, really grateful to be back. Um, So Elizabeth has a really interesting journey with (laughs) Beetlejuice. Um, Our audience is for a lot of like up and coming actors. And I think your story is really inspirational. Would you share it with them? Yeah. um, It's strange because I I feel like I've sort of been a part of the show for a while, even though I never did did it. Um, Take us back to 2001 when you were born. It was a a blurry morning. No, uh, evening, sorry. But um, (laughs) no, two years ago, um, I was actually cast uh, March 2020. it was a very sort of fast process, and I was three days into rehearsal, <laughs> I believe. Um, we had just sort of blocked through Act One, I think. Um, did we shut down on a Thursday? I think we yeah. did. I think yeah. it was like supposed to be announced like three days later or something, and it never was announced. Um, so I went to the theater and met everyone very yes. briefly. Uh-huh. I met you on the stairs, and you said, Hope I have, we have a show for you. L- oh, L- 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 I remember that. And I, I literally like, what? Like I, we literally, we, I was like, I was like, what is this? Um, <laughs> just what I do. Um, and I just really hadn't. I mean, I'd heard of um, you know, the virus vaguely at this point, but I didn't really think it was anything that serious. Like, no, no one did. And um, I was in the rehearsal studio when we shut down, and we had like an hour left. And Rachel was like our stage manager. She's great. Uh, shout out to Rachel. Um, Big shout out to Rachel Botter, <laughs> stage manager extraordinaire. Um, she was like, do you want to walk through what we have? Do you want to run act one? So we ran act one, and then I left the studio going, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. And I was um, I was subletting a place at the time. Like, I was, on a, I was on a gap semester. I had just graduated high school early. And um, I remember it was crazy because it felt like the apocalypse. And so I went to the grocery store, like, by myself that night. And everything was gone. And I remember calling my mom saying, like, I think I need to come home and texting stage management and said, am I allowed to go home? Because I didn't know if we were back in the studio. And then I stayed there for a year. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Absolutely insane. Yeah. And then, you know, like everyone, I wasn't sure if the show was coming back. I wasn't sure if I was coming back. And so it was sort of, you know. Because um, we did hear rumors at that point that we were going to move to another That's theater. Right. Yeah. 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 So Small we were yeah. About so that. we yeah. were Whispering. there was hope that we were going to have a life after the end of the Winter Garden. Yeah, but then we just And you so know. then you spent the next years not knowing I spent the, yeah, I didn't know. I came back to New York um, last spring just to get out of the house and I was doing college online, which is uh Anyone out there that's doing that? <laughs> Not fun. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, and then and then you know, two years later, it was sort of I was brought back in, reassessed where I am. It's you know, so you had years. to audition again. Yeah, after sort of. You it was weird because it was sort of like a workshop. It was sort of like the that's first hard. time, but I but I you know n- knew everyone, and yeah. so um, but you know, it's that's the industry, and it's also been two years, and I only had like a day, two days in the rehearsal yeah. studio, so it was um, I was super. I feel even more grateful coming yeah. back after two years about never having gotten to do it and getting offered to do it again is like 
really amazing. So. One thing really quickly is that what was cool about uh, Elizabeth also is that she's very bold uh -huh. in a way that, I don't know if I, how many people know this, but we connected during that time because you were having these like crises of like crises <laughs> of like, you know, like what's happening? Like uh, this re-auditioning stuff. Am I coming back? Is it coming back? Is it coming Am back? I coming and back? Then, I and so like, we I had like, oh, we... you connected during the break? Yeah. 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 Dana, yeah. Dana, yeah. Dana and I yeah. also were connected so, with like, so, I was too, but like, yeah. sort of all messaged. Yes. I like, reached out to him and like, it so was it ended up being, what was cool is that now that she's here is that it was like, certain certain chemistry was already established mm. so yeah. it was so it was like a homecoming it was like this yes, nice thing right. to be like you yes. did it we did it yeah. we all did yeah it we didn't survived. feel like a nice to meet you coming in the first day i mean it was like nice to re-meet you but i yeah. already felt like you all had sort of accepted me into your family yeah. over the past couple of years even just like yeah even just over social media over text over call or whatever so it really felt like coming home to a family and being welcomed into a family. And I love that something you had said to me before about um, how for so long you didn't know whether or not you were coming back with the show and you just yeah. had to, how did you make peace with that? And um, Yeah, I mean, I think, um, I think the biggest thing was just to not really dwell on it not really yeah. it's hard not to think about but um mm. i i have this way doing very like delia-esque like everything yeah. happens for a reason but yes. um but i really believe i thought I, I thought after you know after the shutdown i was like well if i'm not coming back then it's i'm not meant to do the show and there are many other shows to do and there's i was you know in school i had, my classes were going well and mm. i think i think um that's the only way to look at things yeah. as an actor. Yes, definitely. Um, just because you're gonna you're gonna kill yourself. It's if not you're... the only way to look at things, but it is the healthiest <laughs> way to look at things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, Correct. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna say it was hard, but um, <laughs> but you, I just kind of had let it go in my mind, and it was just yes. sort of like, well, this might happen, mm -hmm. and then um, so it was like a happy surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We're all so happen. happy that you yeah. are here with us now. Oh, we so all grateful. love you so much. So grateful. We really do. <laughs> um, and on that note does anybody elbows. have elbows elbows <laughs> this elbows turned into this a is the beetlejuice thing who <laughs> does anybody have any good rejection stories <laughs> leslie do you have any my well, high school I, girlfriend a what because i always like rejection stories because i think it gives hope like i love when i hear like my favorite actor was rejected from this show i feel like it gives me hope so well i i have a story that's very similar to elizabeth but it didn't wind up that i did the show so oh, i I did a revival of Funny Girl in 2001, and it was supposed to come to Broadway. This cast was set, and then 9-11 happened, oh. and so it was canceled. Yeah. And we had meetings about it. We, the director, was, everything was set. So the same thing happened, and we just waited. We waited, and then it never happened. I have looked so, at a video of you singing that, by the way. And, thank you. And, Fox. and, very, and I was very the good. same <laughs> age, literally the same age oh, oh my God. as Elizabeth. Oh, my God. Literally, I'm sitting here. Thinking 20, of you, like, I'm listening to you tell the story, and I'm like, oh my god, I was the same age wow. when it's that weird happened. Transition lifetime but, too. It's but that was like, supposed to happen. That's the way right. It was supposed to happen. And uh, now you're starring in Beetlejuice. I could have burnt <laughs> out. Could have burnt out young. Anybody oh, else have any great rejection stories? Yeah, I do, but uh, <laughs> I, I feel like I've talked already. So well, uh, uh, Beetlejuice uh, was going out of town uh, to DC, and I auditioned for it, and I didn't get it. <laughs> And you're here now! What's yours, Alex? I have plenty. I have, I have pick, plenty. Pick, your, oh, pick your best one. So pick your best I one. So the, the one that comes to mind, which I find to be funny, is I auditioned for Glee. Oh, yeah. Years and years and years ago when it was first coming out, and I auditioned. I don't even remember the character I was auditioning for, but I was um, sitting. I sang, which went fine, and then I was doing a scene, and I was sitting and doing this scene, totally memorized, completely prepared, kind of going well. And I was kind of came up with that sort of crowd, like the Leah Michelles and the John Groffs. That was sort of my kind of generation there. And I was like, I think this is going well. And I was already had done a couple things. And I was like, I think this might happen. And in the middle of the scene, the casting director sneezed violently, really violently. <laughs> And I mean, like, I was like in this moment of like, look, it doesn't matter what we think. It's like, we only have today. <laughs> so I look up and I went, I went, bless you. And then I went, clearly we're going to stop the tape and we're going to like, you know, and he was no. like, he went, he went, keep going, keep, keep going, here, keep going. Oh, like no. halfway through his knees. No. So, so and I kept going, but then it went completely down. I was just sort of like, wait, because in my head going like, 
this is going to be the tape? Yeah. Like all of this is going to be on that? And so I was completely out of my head and I like torpedoed the rest of the audition mm. and left going, I did, I did, I was sabotaged completely right. by this. because of a sneeze. sneeze. But then I saw Glee and I was like, eh. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just joking. I'm joking. Oh I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, I didn't like it, but it has nothing to do with it. Are you joking? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you don't usually joke. Okay, that. so now I'm going to ask some fun questions. Um, oh, does anybody have any fun rituals before the show? <laughs> rituals. Pre-show rituals. I mean, we all navage, right? We, we all navage. All navage. Yes. Can you explain, David, Clear what out. navage yeah, is? Yeah, we have a device that... That we stick in our nose, yep. mm-hmm. and it shoots. It. it shoots. It shoots. We're gonna. She's, I just she's used getting it today in. for the first time. How was it? <laughs> it was. <laughs> it's fantastic. It shoots it right up your nose. This liquid with a little bit of what is it? Saline solution yeah. and stuff, yep. and uh, it gets all the stuff out and into the bottom of the navage. And yes, you. It's very let it satisfying go. to see all that gunk Super down there. Nice. It looks like sea monkeys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sea monkeys. <laughs> Am yeah, I the only one that doesn't have a You navage? better navage. You're going to join us. One, one of us. One <laughs> of us. No. One shame, of shame, shame, no. shame, 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 shame. No, I can't. This is just what we do back. I just do a vocal warm-up. Ha, ha, ha. I'm an actor. Yes. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I do a vocal warm-up. Do you do I vocal listen warm-up? to stand-up. <laughs> oh, yes, every, I should. Alex every listens to stand-up every night. Every single night. I listen to stand-up, but I, it's stuff I've heard before. Yes, it's just to hear cadence. It's to hear comedy, other people being funny. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, and then to hear audience reaction is helpful for me before I get out there and hear it for real. I don't know. Cool. Wow. Just, it's been that way for a bit. Cool. It, yeah, it came out of nowhere. I'm learning a lot of stuff here today. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the most likely person out of us to break character and laugh on stage? I feel like Elizabeth yeah. Teeter. What? That's what I feel. <laughs> yes. It was. I feel Elizabeth. It, it was like, Leslie Kritzer. It was me. I was going to say it was me. Oh, it could be Leslie. Teeter, I'm worried. I feel attacked. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, you're well, being Elizabeth attacked. Well, hasn't been in front of the audience yet, okay, so we don't you know. You haven't seen me from an audience. Right. I think yeah. I would be a lot better with an audience. Solid. Yes. I'm a lip biter. Um, <laughs> I see, I see Leslie almost crack up. <laughs> and <laughs> no, most of the time did. it's her own. Hello. In rehearsal, I don't, I, want, I, don't do, I just don't try I sometimes, rehearsal. yeah, I sometimes laugh during rehearsal time. I think, I think you might have to reassess when we have an audience, but... We'll circle uh, back. We should I'm, watching. Circle back. What? I'm watching. <laughs> what are our moments that always make us laugh? Oh, I know man. it's always usually at the end of the show for you. Yeah. I mean, Alex at the end of the show yeah. with uh, Juno. Yes, with Juno. <laughs> and Juno's like, I've never been a good mother. I can't. The whole thing. <laughs> so funny. I can't. Yes. I kind of look down. Yes. Yeah, I always see Leslie almost crack. And then we for us. We probably have a new phone who this. Yes, new that phone who this. You yeah. always improvise the- there. And that that will get us sometimes. I find that it just when, when you start going to your places. I just <laughs> what I do is I just really invest yeah. you know I don't know if you've seen really me but like you when you say like uh, you know emotions going crazy and yeah. all that stuff I just really take it seriously even yeah. though inside I'm fucking dying well but I can say I can say wholeheartedly and you know this Adam that sometimes just looking at you on stage I will start laughing <laughs> and it's but because that's different. no it's because of that it's because of out of all this madness you are this sort of staid presence and to me there is nothing funnier than like pure honesty so when you just say things like I'm very good at sex. <laughs> it doesn't it's need so to be funny, funny because it's so true, funny. and I find it to be... is true. <laughs> I mean that I. See but Adam, it. the hair flip. It is. The hair oh, flip. God, I no, I just you know that's to me is I oh, think the, the person that breaks me would be I would say breaks me the most is you because mm-hmm. it's just there's some moments that are just so wildly absurd so funny. that and I don't break often but but when I do it is he- most <laughs> yeah. typically with you. Oh, yeah. It yeah. is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Or myself. Or myself. Got you. Um. Okay, everyone. I want you to yell out this answer at the same time. Seven. Seven. <laughs> oh That's my weird. gosh! Broadway dads. That's weird. Okay, who Just is who is the most likely to <laughs> fall asleep during rehearsal? One, Danny two, three. Danny. 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 Danny Rotigliano. Danny Rotigliano. No way. <laughs> I was gonna say Leslie, but I don't know why. Oh, I don't know why. Okay. Hmm. Who's most likely to change the entire melody of a song? Leslie. Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. With this is Alex, good. Alex is a su- yeah, Alex close, close second. second. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. He's crazy. Okay. If someone in the cast here was to appear in a reality show, what would it be? Well, who's the person? You can pick. Oh, okay. This Real Broadway a- Dads of New Jersey. Real Broadway oh, Dads yes. of New Jersey. Seven. Yes, yes. The two of them Seven. would be in the Real Broadway Dads of New enough. Jersey. No, that would yeah, be right. Sure. That's for sure. Oh. Totally right. Or Kelvin would be on The Bachelor. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. As the yeah. host. 
<laughs> okay, now we have some fan questions. I asked the fans to write in some questions. And um, this We question- still got fans, guys. <laughs> yes. Yes. This go. question is for Adam. Uh-oh. What do you think would the new Charles Saint be? <laughs> what would the new? Ch- Adam has been posting all of these pictures on Instagram <laughs> oh of the new yeah. Charles scenes. Wait, those aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> so, what yes. do you think would be the real? A real new, ch- new Charles scene. Maybe your dream scene. Uh, maybe he like a like, maybe like a dream ballet. Yes. I think. Um, in the unpack that. Oh. Uh, what's yeah. that? The unpack in- that, Adam. Our entrance uh, in the in the <sighs> nether world. I could see... We have a duet. Well, we were thinking about dancing our entrance in, but I think yeah. even while you're singing home, <laughs> I think that Charles yes. could sort of, you know, yeah. Martha Graham in the background yeah. and <laughs> add, like add another layer to yes. what she's singing about. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think it'd be emotional. I really it's, do. Yeah, and, and we're connected. We're family. So Yeah, it, you're all laughing uh, out yeah. that are hearing this, but we're being serious. Yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely Alex Timbers is your listener. Yeah. <laughs> This, this next one is a very important question, and remember who is hosting this podcast. Who is going to win the next door contest? Carrie Butler. Carrie Butler. Thank Butler. you. Thank you. Carrie do you want to answer. explain? Do you want to explain the door contest for people so that don't know? We did a door contest where everyone had to decorate their doors uh, for the holidays, and we put a lot of work into those doors. You did. I like that you say we. <laughs> <laughs> Almost everybody did it. You didn't do it, right? I don't. I don't do You don't that participate kind of, in fun things. No. Alex says, <laughs> Alex says, the, the, thing, I the fun thing I participate in is Beetlejuice the musical. Yes, so. yes, yes, yeah, yes. The other day, it was 90s themed dressing up. Yeah. And Alex goes, what? Oh, no. I don't. <laughs> no, you I don't, did. You have it, dressed up for things okay. before. He I have said, pictures of it. I don't play children's games Where was, where was that posted? I <laughs> didn't do see snob. that anyway. No, that was we late. Yes. Snob. He does take snob seriously. It was late. They're going to do more. They're going to do more of this. But Alex, I have pictures of you dressed up for rehearsal. Okay. This is not a deposition. Anyway. That's what I want. Yeah, we're going to have pajama day for sure. Yeah. Um, what are, what's the funniest thing that happened on stage? What do you think? Like a mishap? Hmm. There was the girl that yelled out, remember? Oh, that that's a great story. Do you want to well, tell no, it? No, you tell it because I, uh, my memory So at the end stopped. of the show, there's something we do like, that's, I like to call the Wizard of Oz goodbyes, which is I say goodbye to everybody sort of in their own uh, way. And I have a long sort of pass over to Delia. Um, and it's always this long winded thing that ends with me saying her name wrong and she corrects me and I say we don't hang out very much. But there was a young girl in like the third row right near us and as I got, I mean, it, it, she has the, the, the best timing out of all three of us, she had the best timing, walked up to Le- Leslie and I w- opened my mouth to say something and she goes, back off or leave her alone. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I was like, you know, Beetlejuice is like by nature like slightly predatory and all that. And this young, like empowered girl was like, leave her alone. And it wow. got this humongous show-stopping laugh. Because <laughs> wow. you could That's hear brilliant. it. That was the other thing. And Leslie and I just kept, we like just looked That's at right. each other, totally stunned. And rather than moving on to the joke, we both sort of like, we knew what was going to happen. We met brains and we were like, She's got a point. Yeah. And I moved on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it was good. just this like perfect little moment where this young, I'm no more than 10 or 11 years oh, old, yeah. improv genius in the audience. Yeah. Brilliant. She comes back. Yeah, she only enhanced the show. I saw her after the show. And I said, can you please come back every night? <laughs> yeah. She said, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, she said, leave me alone. <laughs> back off. Back off. <laughs> David and I were upstaged by rats one year. Yeah. Oh. I can't. Yeah, oh my God. That. The oh, audience yes. saw them and we did it. We're just like dancing. And we hear the audience scream. We're like, what's happening? Yeah. Um, but anyway. Oh, can uh, I say one more, yes, which I think yes, is more please. of the fans that did yes. this? It's not us. Is that we had a show, and this part, first part is a little serious. <laughs> it is. But we <laughs> right before we started a show, once we had somebody who passed out in the, in the, in the theater. and had to be sort of laid out in the aisle. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> well, they're fine now, which is why I'm laughing. So okay. r- r- whatever. But what ended up happening, rather than it being like sympathetic or empathetic from our fan base, they were so on brand. And we had about 100 tweets that said, uh, you said in the show that if somebody dies, the show will continue, <gasps> oh, oh. and you're not making good on this. And I was wow. like, oh I gosh. felt so heartwarmed by our true fans <laughs> yeah. that they would go there. And on I just wanted note, to bring that up. We love our fans so That's much. That's what I mean. It's like yes. they really, they stuck to the brand of our show, being like, look, I know this person's probably dead, but look, let's do the show. Yeah, <laughs> it's a show about death. Yeah. We thank our fans so much. Thank you. We can't wait to see you. Yeah. Hope you get dressed yes. up and come back. Anybody else want to say anything to our fans at the end of this interview? 
Wrong. You're the, you're the warmest, most absurd fans I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. The best I've and ever And I love had. it. The best yeah. ever. We love you. We Come love see Beetlejuice. You. And thank you all for being here. And thanks for listening. Thank you, Carrie. Thank, thank you, Carrie. Carrie. Explain the yellow mic. Okay. Together.